Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. My name's Leo. If you haven't been here before, I teach people about real estate, working full time as a side hustle, just to help you out. Again, today, what I'm gonna be talking about is, is it worth it to flip houses right after this? So here we are. Okay, so everyone knows that I'm a wholesaler and originally I started wholesaling on the side and I started buying a lot of rental properties for myself. And then me and my partner, we started flipping properties. So we're doing about 12 a year. Right now we have two in the works and we have two signed in contract right now. So we're averaging about one a month. So everyone always asks me, is it worth it to flip properties? If you stay here till the end of the video, I am going to let you know exactly what I'm doing now to keep the process going and how I'm going to actually respond to this market that is kind of crazy and no one knows what's going on because you're probably saying to yourself, I don't know, should I do it? I'm going to get stuck with my pants down. You know, is it hard to flip? So before you start flipping properties, you really need to know your numbers. Now, if I was a wholesaler, which I was, you really got to get good at knowing what the numbers are. How much does it cost for renovation? How much does it cost for plumbing? What it costs in your area? You really need to know your area, where you are, what the prices are for contractors, for everything, right? You really need to be a master at numbers. You got to know the numbers on comps. You have to know the blocks that you're in. If you're going to wholesale and you know a certain neighborhood and you start building up that money that you could start flipping, you got to really know like, the back of your hand that the house up the block number 13 sold for 500 and you got number 25 and you know you have two driveways and that guy had one driveway and you got you have potential for a pool your corner lot you need to know all these things all these variables which will add to the price of your property so if you get it for super cheap you know how to price it to make money when you want to flip it so all these things that add you know to value to a house you need to know them when you're wholesaling it's all these dynamics of you know that that add more value to a house i mean you've probably seen a house you know up the road that had a pool one didn't have a pool even though pools don't really you know add value during covid people were like oh that has a pool and it added value which was really an anomaly at the time you really need to know all these little things does it have two ba bathrooms does it have three bathrooms three bedroom, two bedroom, all these things add to what the comparables are in the neighborhood. Now you can use a program like Pro PropStream that I use. I use PropStream, I use a lot of different programs. One of the major ones is PropStream. Help me out, shows comps. I'll leave a li link down in the description. You can sign up, I think it's 30 days free. You wanna really know your numbers and you need to reference from pre past properties that sold. That's another thing like, you know, history. You gotta look at things now too with the market. Things are moving so quick. You really need to stay up on your numbers. And us, you know, us flipping, we're doing three houses in one neighborhood in the zip code. We're kind of like the comps. So we're actually creating the comps of the area, which we are, we're actually dominating that neighborhood with the properties that we're selling. So again, you need to know how much the lumber costs because lumber is going up. You need to know how much all the you know material is going to cost things are changing by the month it's very difficult to keep up right everything's going up and up and up so eventually what's happening now is interest rates are pricing out customers you know buyers for properties so what's going to happen is the people who are first time home buyers they're kind of going to get like squashed and the people with the cash are going to be left over that's what we're seeing now there's about 20 to 30 offers per property now the key to this entire equation of flipping is actually getting in at a right price. So if you buy right in the beginning, let's say you get a house for more than 50% off. Let's say a house is worth, is selling for a renovated 525 and you paid 270, you're safe. So the market, let's say worst scenario drops 30%, which I highly doubt that it's gonna drop 30% like in 2008. I real let's just say it does. Let's say 30%. You're still making money. And that's the key. You can't go into it saying, "Oh, you know, I don't know. I'm going to be scared if the market 
falls 50%. Market is not gonna fall 50%. I've never seen anything move 50% before. I mean, in our area, again, it really depends on your area, but I know in my area, New Jersey, there is such a high demand of people leaving New York, coming down to South Jersey. It's ridiculous. It's the same thing with Miami. Like, people just wanna move there. They're buying houses with cash. I mean, we're talking a million dollars. People that we've seen in their bank account, a million dollars cash to buy a house, it's, which is bananas. So what I really suggest anyone starting out that wants to start flipping, number one, you need to know your numbers. And number two, it's really all about the buy. You know, the old saying goes, it's all about you, you make profit on the purchase. So if you buy it right, you're not going to lose any money. So my opinion, if you're going to do flipping, I like flipping, it's quick money, but then take that money that you're doing, you can either 1031 exchange or you can reinvest it in a rental property and get cash flowing because at the end of the day, you want to build wealth. You can't keep flipping forever. You want to buy actual assets and eventually the market will soften. They will have a lot more properties on the market, foreclosures are coming on the market, but again, you wanna have that opportunity to maybe you find a house that's so cheap that let's say you don't get it for 280, you get it for like 200 or 140, it might pay for you to keep it because the house is worth 400,000 and you can rent it out. So these are my just couple of suggestions for the future flippers of, you know, maybe the East Coast if you're around. And, you know, if you're in Florida, even better. Again, you wanna flip and you wanna keep some properties and you wanna flip and you wanna get that cash flow and you wanna reinvest it. And I hope you like the video. Please like, please subscribe. If you have any other comments and you wanna hear anything else about flipping, and if you've seen any of my videos on Instagram or on YouTube, which I'm gonna be uploading shortly, I'm doing a lot of walkthrough videos, just comment below and let me know what else you would like to see because I've got tons of flips coming up. We've got tons of content. I don't know what else to put out there. I just got I'm overwhelmed with so much stuff to put out. Um, just let me know in the comments and check out the next video that is going to be here or over here somewhere. I'll be showing you a tour of I think a hoarder house that I have or the other house that we're that we're working on. All right, take care.